Here they come. They're boiling out now. Ooh, yeah. All right, now they're getting after me. Oh my gosh. Look at this. You see them all over my pants? They're getting pretty fired up. They're kind of hitting my veil pretty strong here. Trying to get in so they can sting me. All right, today's a big adventure. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. I got a friend of mine that has some bees that got mean on him. Uh, they've asked me, he and his friend that does bees with him, have asked me if I could try to manage their highs for him this year. And so I've agreed to do that. Um, a couple of interesting things. Uh, once at least one of these hides has become really mean, the other thing is that these are actually in a flow hides or a flow hide type. Know, colonies and so we'll see what we got I'm just about here I'll check them out and we'll see see what we're dealing with I really have no idea what to expect or how I'm gonna handle it it's gonna be a learning experience for me and hopefully for you as well all right guys we'll get set up here in just a minute I'm almost there here we are out here we got these hives um, I think it looks like we've got two of the original flow hives out here so there's eight frame there's at least one right here a couple more of the order there were from, a, I guess, a less expensive source last year. They got, so they got a total of five out here right now. A little cloudy and rainy kind of today, so the bees aren't super busy. They're about to get busy probably when I start messing with them. All right, so this is the hive in question here. A while ago when I was uh, treating, they just got after me big time. So that was without even cracking them open. So this is gonna be interesting. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be an adventure. And I can tell you just from my brief experience with them already, these are some mean bees. We'll see what happens. All right, here we are. I'm about to get into this joker. Mm -hmm. I actually put some duct tape around my pants, the bottom of my jeans, and around my shoes, almost like athletes when they put spats on. Um, I call them my bee spats, I guess. I don't know, I've never done that before, but Earlier they were climbing up my legs and getting me, so I just decided to do that. I even have a piece of duct tape underneath this little area right here because they seem to find a way to get into my veil sometimes. And I'm hoping they're not too bad. I've got, I'm gonna smoke them really good and we're just gonna see what we got. Um, but I imagine we're about to see a cloud of bees. They're gonna be pretty fired up and it's gonna be interesting and exciting. So uh, here we go, let's get started. Let's smoke them going. Smoke them in the front. They are gonna get fired up. Here we go, I'm gonna smoke the heck out of them. So hopefully, we will survive this encounter. Maybe they won't be too bad, we'll see. Okay, so this is a sign right here that this hive is totally packed. Um, they're on top of the, on top of the uh, inner cover. So I'm gonna have to go get a, this is an eight frame box. It's one of those flow hives, one of the, um, uh, brand name ones. If bees are up here, it means they need more room. So uh, I'm sure they're on the verge of swarming, possibly. We'll see. Look at all those bees. They're not too bad so far. Maybe the smoke is helping. Well, I've been building this thing up. Maybe it won't be too bad. I would rather it not be too bad. These frames are a little difficult to get out. They're different than your traditional frames in a beehive. They're starting to ramp it up a little bit. Look at all those bees on there. They're putting honey all around the edges here, if you can see that. I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to decide if that queen might be up in this top box. Because they're not putting it right in the middle, which they would typically do. But I don't see any eggs or anything. Now the bees are actually acting quite calm, so maybe this won't be as exciting as I thought. I did smoke them really good. Like I say, I still haven't got into the heart of the hive yet. But man, they are not being bad at all. They were chasing me around earlier like crazy. So far, they're calm as they can be. Now we're going to take this box off. This is where I anticipate getting hammered pretty good here. When we start to get down into this, what they call the brood chamber, where the baby bees are being made. And uh, that's when these they might get a little more feisty. We'll see. 
They're starting, I hear them starting to buzz a little bit. Let me uh, smoke them down. I see people smoking them and they're not really smoking them. And I know you're not, oh yeah, here they come. They're boiling out now, ooh, yeah. All right, now they're getting after me. Oh my gosh, look at this. You see them all over my pants? I don't know if you can see them. I'm glad I have my bee spats on. With my duct tape. Yeah, whatever I just did really fired them up. And they are definitely getting after me. They're not getting up in my pants because they got the tape around my bottom. If I smoke them enough, maybe we can keep them calm. This is a queen excluder with these flow hives or any hive like this thing where you're doing a specialty thing. Uh, you definitely don't want the queen laying up there where you want honey to be put. Normal, regular hives that most people run, the Langstroth hives, um, the frames are pretty interchangeable, so it's not as big a deal if the queen gets up there. Okay, I'm gonna ease down. They're pretty fired up, but they're not super, super aggressive yet. We're gonna see now. When I was talking to Jimmy the other night, he thought he might have some queen cells in here, but he wasn't sure. So I'm gonna look. Now this right here, it's an absolutely beautiful frame of brood. Um, this queen is doing really well. A lot of people will tell you that the more aggressive bees will be the best producers. There is a queen cell destroyed right there. Um, so there was a queen cell there for sure. Um, but let me show you how this looks. It's a beautiful frame of brood. See all this right here? This area right here, that's all baby bees being made. And if you see it really pretty solid with very few open cells like this, that means you've got a really good queen. And uh, even though she's mean, she's doing a tremendous job. But since they made that queen cell, I don't know it. Lots of times the queen cells, if they're gonna swarm, let me smoke them again. They're getting pretty feisty, but not, not super aggressive. Okay, here we go. Looks like these two right here have been damaged. Um, a couple of other queen cells. And what I may need to do here, just to get the population down, if I see uh, the queen, or I may just split some out and take some queen cells with me, and we may just make a split. He told me I could do that, and that would get the population down, so hopefully it won't swarm. These two cells right here are queen cells that have been damaged or smashed, you can see them. See the world jelly in there? That's not, they're not viable, I don't think, since they've been damaged. I think, yeah, they're starting to get not too happy with me now. All right, this frame is loaded up with eggs. And there is a queen cell on the bottom, right there. You can see it where these bees are tending right here. Right here. Let me blow on it and get them off. See that cell pick? That's a queen cell right there, a very healthy one that will be hatching here soon with a new queen. So my guess is it's on the bottom of the frame too, which indicates probable swarming. So we really need to, to uh, find the queen, split this hive, take her away, and uh, <clears throat> let the bees hatch out a nice new queen who maybe won't be quite so mean. And they should hatch out a, another queen that'll be good uh, productive. There are a lot of drones flying already here. It's the first of March. Now there is so much brood in this hive. And if you can tell, I'll sit down here. You can just probably see them flying all around me. I'm getting hammered with uh, a lot of bees flying around me. But they're not. They're not really super, super aggressive not like I thought they would be. Not yet, anyway. Their mood can change in a hurry, though. I hope the mic's working. If so, you can probably hear them buzzing pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're pop coming after me pretty good. I'm not sure why they're. Oop, one got me in the hand through the glove. Man, where's the queen at? They were more aggressive with me earlier. Well, I wasn't in them earlier, but there were a lot of bees really aggressively kind of attacking me earlier. These bees are not happy, but they're not super, super ticked off right now. But I did, I did seed up a little better. 
more secure with my protection right now. Oh, there's another queen cell. If you look just to the side of it, you'll see a lot of pollen. It's kind of cool. See right here, this queen cell, it looks damaged though. Right by my finger. And then just to, just below it, there's a lot of pollen they put in there. Man, if we could keep these bees in the box and get another box on top, this hive would absolutely explode. But I just don't know if we're gonna keep them in here. I'm afraid they're gonna swarm. See if I can find a queen here. If I find her, I'll be sure and point her out. And I'll put her in another box and we'll take her away. And let them make a new one. Hatch out a new one or whatever. There's another method where you can just kind of shake all the bees. Yeah, they're trying to get me on my knee right there. My knee's been up. Man, this, this queen has done a tremendous job though. I really just need more space. So there's a method I'm thinking about trying. We shake all the bees. You can shake them in front of their box or We're getting, we're getting pretty fired up. I'm kind of hitting my veil pretty strong here. Trying to get in so they can sting me. Here's a cell, a queen cell, right here for sure. Looks pretty healthy. You can see right here. Here's another queen cell. Right there. It's a really nice, healthy queen cell right there. See that? The bees are really tending to it, so I imagine that one's one that's gonna hatch too. She is good at playing hide and seek. There's a split called a Terranoff split, Terranoff split, where you kind of have them go up a ramp into another hive and they think they've split, they think they've swarmed. The queen just definitely goes up with the rest of the bees. You take those away. We need the queen cell or two in with the original hive. And they hatch out the queen cell and um, carry on. And the new the queen and her bees. Man, look at that brood. I want you to look at this brood pattern. I just can't believe this. It's so nice. Look how nice that is. And if you can see on the camera, the front of that hive is completely covered with bees. I don't know if you can tell or not. But I'm gonna leave these bees alone in here because there was a queen excluder. I'm gonna shake all the bees out here. I'm gonna shake them on the ground out here. I think I'm gonna kind of use this little thing as a platform. Oh, look at all of them. And we'll see if we can do kind of like a little tearing off split here. Just completed the task this morning and went through the main hive. Um, they were quite aggressive. They were super aggressive when I was treating them for mites using oxalic acid. But as I went through them, I smoked them really well, made sure my jacket was uh, cinched up really good and zipped up really good, made sure they couldn't get up into my legs and they didn't get me very much. It wasn't too bad. Um, did notice that there were a couple queen cells and how it needed to be split. Uh, so we did that. We're gonna make a couple videos out of this, one for going through the hive and the other for the split. So if you like this video, guys, if you would just um, give me a thumbs up. And if you would please subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. And then if you want more videos from me in the future, you can hit that bell, that'd be great. So it's been fun, it definitely has been an adventure. It's been kind of a new experience. I did try some new things, which I'm always, you know, pretty much always willing to do as long as they're, they make sense to me, I'll try them. And uh, so that's pretty much it. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off here. Y'all take care and have a great day.